this is a lovely thing to have uh, to have bumped into. Um, literally just started my walk and just gotten out of the village and onto the path down into our local woodland and found these. And these are, again, I'm trying to focus on either things that are edible or very much not edible, um, but are nice and easy to identify. And this is one of the easiest out there. It's called a shaggy ink cap, otherwise known as a lawyer's wig, and you can see why. These scales that flick out on the surface. It's almost completely white. You can see it is actually darker on the top and the scales often have a little bit of the darker colour on the ends. Um, but they're very, very distinctive. As it matures, this is just starting. You can see this is the gill showing through where it's been damaged, but I will break it open. Um, as it matures, the gills will go from bright white. Oh, let's get it properly open here so you can oh, see. They'll go from bright white like they are at the top here. They'll be that all the way down. Um, and they go through this pinky stage as they mature. Um, and then these ones at the bottom, you can see, are going black. As they get more mature, they'll go very black. The cap will start to turn itself inside out and roll up. Um, and they'll deliquiesce. And deliquiescing means that they will uh, turn to liquid, essentially. So they, they're called ink caps because the black... Uh, spore bearing liquid drips like ink from the, the bottom surface after they've matured and rolled up. While they're nice and tight and white, um, and if you found one like this you could just cut the bottom off or not bother depending on how fussy you are, um, they're considered a really good edible. Um, some people seem to like them more than others but they are very edible and very easy to identify when you're out. So a nice one to have, have covered for our series. Do press the subscribe button, all of those sorts of things, the, the bell if you want to be notified of, of me making new videos, um, and come and join us on the Broth and Butter Facebook group as well, we, we chat about these things. <laughs>